I'm Bryce Baker, uh, Marketing Manager at Precision Planting. Welcome to the National Farm Machinery Show. Um, we're talking to growers here today about some new products, one of those being smart depth. So as we think about from an agronomic perspective, how depth impacts yield, really it's about getting into moisture. And so while smart depth is a new product, really the enabling piece of this new product is actually right down here, which is the smart firmer. Smart firmer is an in furrow sensor that allows growers to actually sense and then see displayed in the cab soil moisture, temperature, and residue. And really want to key in on that soil moisture. Um, what we found in 2018 is that when the seeds are planted into a 30% or greater moisture environment, as detected by Smart Firmer, we have optimum moisture for germination. So where Smart Depth then plays in is a couple things. First, it's the ability to simply adjust depth from the cab. I can push a button on the 2020 in the cab and change depth on the go. Then the second piece is the ability to tie moisture to depth. And so what Smart Firmer and Smart Depth tied together allows is a grower to set a minimum depth, a maximum depth they want to plant, and then a target moisture, say 31, 32%, and then either planter wide or row by row, when moisture either increases or decreases above my target or below my target, Smart Depth can then automatically change depth on, on that row or planter wide as an average to stay in that moisture target. If we go too deep, when we don't need to, we get resistance to emergence and delays. If we're too shallow, we end up with late emergers because we're in dry soil. So really excited about this product, a lot of interest. It's just a, a, a product that makes a lot of sense to a lot of growers to be in moisture with all those seeds. Uh, the plan is for the 2019 growing season, uh, we're beta testing it and doing model expansion. Uh, you can see it here on a John Deere row unit. We're looking to expand models. Um, and then hopefully we get through that beta season um, and then we'll probably be in a limited commercial standpoint uh, for the 2020 growing season.